<laughs> you didn't even do anything. Look at all the videos. You haven't done anything. Well, so, if TK would have figured it out earlier, we would have been yeah, done 30 have minutes ago. So the finisher is going to be just a little pump, right? We're going to do a little bit of bicep and tricep, but we still want to keep it and like bring it back to what we were doing in class. So you guys were benching. So we want to not just press like this, right? Where, yeah, you're doing a tricep push down and then later you're curling, but it's not actually helping you because we want to apply this into our bench press, right? So let's say this is a normal tricep push down, right? Everything is on, I'm using my triceps, everything is great. But when you're doing the bench press, you're also using a little bit of chest, you're using a little bit of lats, and you're using a little bit of glutes, right? So instead of just doing them mindlessly, for the bench press, I would actually start here at 90, flex the glutes, for me, I need to pull my shoulder down because that's what I'm working on. And then when you press and do the tricep, you're actually pushing down and forward a little so that you feel your pecs on at the same time, right? Then you bring it up with a little bit of control, tricep pecs, bring it up with control, tricep pecs. You see how that's a little bit different than just this, where it's just triceps? So think about that when you're doing this so that you can apply it to that position in the bench press. And then we have the same setup over there at the bottom with curls. Same thing, when you guys are doing the banded curls, instead of just curling and thinking about your biceps, right? Flex the core of the glute. For me, again, I have to cinch my shoulder down and then curl inwards so that you're getting that pec as well as that bicep, like a weightlifting curl, right? Instead of outwards and it's like in the elbow, in the neck a little, okay? So that's the gauntlet finisher, all right?